today is an exciting day because I'm getting my hair done for the first time in five months. I got my hair done right before I had Hunter and he was five months old yesterday. So you can see my roots are so grown out. It is so dark and I'm in desperate need of getting my hair done. Also, check out, like I'm my postpartum hair is like loss is starting to happen. So this is where it hit me really bad with like Brody. Not as much with Addison, but definitely with Hunter too. So you can see how thin it is through here. It was like right in here. So that's not exciting. Um, but I'm actually trying out this stuff. Y'all have probably heard of it. It's this like Divi stuff. I'm gonna start trying this out and seeing if it helps me and helps my hair loss or whatever. It smells so good. The um, this was created by Danny Austin, I'm so strong, I can't breathe, um, who is like a, a blogger, influencer. Anyway, it says it aids against hair thinning, nourishes hair follicles, detoxifies product buildup, scalp serum, revitalize and detoxify. So you just like literally, <clears throat> I don't wanna do it today because I don't wanna waste it since they're gonna like deal with my hair in a minute, but <clears throat> like you're supposed to put it on every day. <clears throat> Gosh. Excuse me. And so you like wherever it's thinning, you'll like take a bit and just like squeeze it in there and then just like massage it into your scalp. And apparently like doesn't make your hair greasy or anything like that. I will report back to you guys and let you guys know what I think. But I'm really excited to try this out to help with all of my thinning through here. So sad. Anyway, so I'm getting ready right now. Um, the kids and I are about to go and hopefully Hunter will drink his bottle today. I'm trying to not feel like a little like oof about it. Okay, if you heard Hunter just woke up from his morning nap, I laid him down for a nap in our closet because it's um, dark in there and I needed to do some stuff in my room this morning. So anyways, he was in his dock tot having a little nap in there, the sound machine. So he woke up, but anyway, I am just praying that he takes a bottle today so that he's content and happy. I'm gonna be gone. My appointment's at like 12, 15, I think. It's in Dallas, so just kind of far. It'll probably, I probably won't be back till five or so. So we will see how it goes and I'm hoping that he does good. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna try that stuff on my hair. Um, and I'm just excited to be blonde again because my hair's so, look how grown out. So grown out. But I'm having some oatmeal coffee i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna get my stuff packed up get the kids packed up and then i'm gonna take them to my mother-in-law's because she's gonna have the kids today well i am at my hair appointment i don't get super excited about hair appointments or any kind of appointments for that matter it's funny i think some people are like oh it's self-care that is like not my idea of self-care <laughs> i don't enjoy sitting there forever it's boring to me. Same thing like when I would get my nails done, which I haven't done since I kind of stopped getting my nails done like right after I had Hunter, just cause I don't want to deal with like going there. Maybe I will at some point again, but I always like my nails being done cause it looks really nice. But like the actual process of getting them done and stuff is just, it's not fun to me. I like pedicures, but I do not like getting my nails done. But anyway, side note, look how cute he is. You're getting so big. How are you five months old already? Time flies. Man, time flies. Especially on the third baby, that's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of makeup. A little bit of makeup. I also probably need to change my shirt. I like this shirt. This is like one of those airy, like waffle, like whatever. And the hunter was in my closet, so I couldn't get into any of my clothes. So I just threw this on till I can go in there. I'm gonna change shirts though because a lot of times when they rinse my bleach out and they rinse my hair, it will get like on the back of my shirt. So I'm always like, I try to like wear a shirt that I don't care about it getting, getting ruined because a lot of times they get ruined, unfortunately. So, mm -hmm. okay, we gotta hurry. The kids just came and attacked Hunter. You're okay. When I say attacked, cuddling. He's not happy about it. Okay, hold on. Here you go. Here you go. Here. Here. There. You got better. Okay, I've got a couple snacks for myself for today. Hey, this is all. That's mine. Protein bar and a Rice Krispie treat. Um, I'm there forever. And, anyways, 
Addison brought her Ego plate in here <laughs> to show me that she ate all of her waffles. Okay, I'm gonna take Mallory Irvin's book to read while I'm there, because I'll probably be bored. I'm gonna throw in this like pump, this Mom Cozy pump. I can link it for you guys. I shared it in a vlog like a while ago. But it's like hands-free, throw that in. A couple of little bottles in case. And then I'll probably pack like a, like a little cooler with like some ice packs so that if I have to pump in the car or something after, I can just put them on ice. Yeah. Oh, a gummy bear? <laughs> okay, I know. Hold on, let me grab them. No, anyway, those are dad gummy bears. Dad said oh. she could have some. Dad said she could have some if she ate all of her eggs and waffles. Anyway, um, so I'll get a, a cooler with like some little ice packs just in case. I don't know if I'm gonna pump or if I'm gonna need to, but being gone so long, I might want to have that. So I'm gonna pack that. Okay, got some milk to take. More milk. Okay, and just packed Steven's camo cooler with a bunch of these like like Arctic ice packs in case I pump milk. I probably should. I like hate pumping, but that way I don't go the whole day without doing that. I feel like that'd be bad to do. But anyways, that way a spot to put some milk if I need it. Ugh, there we go. Just ordered some chicken nuggets because I only had oatmeal this morning and I'm hungry and like I said I basically when I go to these hair appointments I'm there from like 1230 till like I don't get back in the area till like 530 or so and so then it's like I go all day and then I don't eat and I, like I have a RX bar and like, rice krispie treat but I feel like I need like protein or I'm gonna be like usually I like when I get back from my hair appointments because I've been gone all day and I don't eat while I'm there I like just feel horrible so like I need a little bit of protein, so hopefully this will like tide me over and then I'll have my like snacks. I don't like snacks though. Like I'm not a big snacker, it's really weird. I like, during the day, like I don't, I just don't snack like at all. I basically like eat my three like good meals and sometimes I'll have like a late night snack, like a yogurt and granola or sometimes I'll have some kind of snack, but like those like the RX bar, I probably won't even eat it. I'm just taking it just in case I feel like I'm gonna die. But like I, I just, I just don't like to snack on things. So I'd rather just eat like actual food than like a protein bar. So you all know that Hunter has the Como Tomo bottles, but we're gonna try these. See how these are. Got some different flow nipples. So. We'll see how it goes. I think these go with this, and then I think these are the Komotomo replacements. Yeah, like faster flow. So we will see. We'll report back <laughs> what works for him. Hopefully something works. Hi, Bubba. I'm gonna feed you real quick before I leave. It's 11 o'clock. I'm leaving by 11.30, because my appointment's at 12.30. Um, so I'm gonna just feed him real quick. That way I can not be full, and then that way, what are you doing? He um, is held over for three more hours before we have to try the bottle thing. Hi. Hi. Are you happy now? You're very full, I think. You don't look very happy, but you are full. Hi. What's the matter? What's the matter? I'm going to eat my chicken nuggets. Gonna be a good boy today. Mm, you can do it. You can do it. I know. You can do it. Can you can you drink bottles today? You look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings out. You look at me like I'm different. Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I. Alright, just got to my hair appointment I can go print the little thing to like stick in my dash Let's go get my roots fixed Okay, just finished at my hair appointment. You probably can't see my hair because of the sun. I'll show you uh, later when I get home, but it looks so good. It's so blonde and bright. And then I got my ends trimmed because my hair was like just so frail and brittle at the end. I don't know why, I might have said this earlier, but like 
in this pregnancy my hair never got healthy like you know when your hair gets like super healthy during pregnancy that happened to me with Brody and Addison and then this time it just stayed like dry and brittle the whole time never got healthy and now it's like falling out it's like the whole texture of my hair has like really changed um, my hair used to be so long like so so long and healthy and now it just like doesn't get long and I don't know why it's kind of sad but anyway I'm gonna fight traffic to go pick up the kids and I asked my mother-in-law during my hair appointment how it was going and Hunter is not super happy she's tried all these different bottles and he just I don't know any details other than hang on Want to hit that car and I don't want to scrape my wheel on this curb anyway just not it's super happy feet. it's like totally Turn breaking left, my heart I think she she did end up getting him to take the bottle like he finally was like kind of getting sleepy and she said that he started drinking it thankfully so he could get I don't know it just makes me so sad and I've never had a baby reject a bottle I know I keep talking about this but I'm also like wigging out a little bit going like, how are Steven and I ever going to be able to go on a date night or, like, anything until he's, like, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. So, anyway, I feel bad for my mother-in-law. I feel bad for Hunter. I just, poor baby. So, anyways, I'm going to race back. I was, like, thinking, oh, if he, like, does good, maybe I can, like, run to North Park, which is the mall over here and get some Nespresso pods because I'm out of Nespresso. Um, but obviously I'm not doing that, so. Okay, the kids and I are driving home and guess what Brody just did? What'd you do? Oh. Swallow it, tell me what you just did. I just pulled my tooth. He just pulled his own tooth in the car driving home. It's sitting right next okay, don't, job, Brody. don't lose it, okay? Job, we lost the last Good one. Job, <laughs> hey, you guys. We are home. It's been a little while since I vlogged. Steven had made dinner. He came home from a meeting. He made dinner, which was so nice of him. I raced in the door, threw the kids um, in the shower and in the bath, and then got them in PJs, and they started eating their dinner while I was doing their bath. I was like about to fall over, I was so hungry. So Steven made me some food. And so I ate that while I was back in the bathroom bathing them. And then he had to go back up to his office because he had a webinar tonight. Then I got Hunter fed and in bed and then the big kids and uh, finished their dinner. Just back and forth, back and forth. And I just got them in bed. Dishwasher's running. I've got a couple more pans to clean up from dinner. And I started laying out their clothes and everything for school tomorrow, packing their backpacks. I've got to do lunches. I've got to iron Brody's clothes, which. But anyway, I don't know if y'all could really tell my hair, but see how blonde it is? It's so blonde, which I love. I wanted it to be really bright. And then it's so nice to have, like, I got the ends cut because they were like so just frail and damaged and whatever so it's nice to have it freshened up and it just looks so much healthier which I'm really happy about so anyway Steven should be home soon it's almost it's like 8 57 right now he should be home probably right around 9 30 or so anyway so I need to finish cleaning up from dinner do y'all ever feel like whenever you like I was telling my the girl that does my hair today, I was telling her, I was like, you know, it's wild how like I'll have all these like plans of things I plan to do after I lay the kids down for bed. And then as soon as I close the door <laughs> from laying them down and they're all in bed, I'm like, I just instantly am like worthless and I feel so tired. Like I'm literally fighting this and I have this internal struggle right now of like, do I just go plop my booty down and chill? and just do lunches and iron birdies like clothes in the morning or do i just like force myself to do it right now before i sit down but i really don't want to i don't know what should i do i know what i should do but i don't want to i don't know anyway changing pad i need to put in my pack and play in my room for hunts okay just walk back to my bedroom I'm getting closer to my bed. I just see my bed. I think all I want to do is just lay down. <laughs> um, anyway, 
Oh, look how bright my hair is. Is this lighting better? Y'all can really see the color. My girl is so good. Y'all are in Dallas. She's amazing. She's at Salon 5014. There's like a crease right there uh, in Dallas. And her name's Charlie. She's amazing at color. And I had this other girl cut it. Hey guys, I'm just sitting here editing this vlog that you're watching right now and I just realized I never ended the vlog. I just stopped vlogging. I was like really tired that night, but one funny story I wanted to tell you before I wrap this vlog up is in this vlog, Brody pulled out his own tooth on the way home. And so that night as I was like laying him down for bed, I was like, oh, where's your tooth? Like we gotta put it under your pillow for the tooth fairy. And he's like, no, I hid it. He put it in a container, he said, and he hid it in the TV cabinet. I was like, why'd you hide it? And he's like, I don't want the tooth fairy to find it. <laughs> I said, well, you won't get any money like if you don't put it under your pillow. And he's like, oh, I have like $1,000. I don't need any more money. I just want to keep my tooth for forever. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, okay. Um, I don't know that he has $1,000, but uh, he does save his money, all of his money that he's like ever gotten <laughs> from doing jobs or like birthday money or Christmas money, whatever. He like saves it all. So he does have a lot of money. But anyway, he determined he doesn't need any more and he wants to keep his tooth, tooth as a souvenir. He said that night, he said, I wanna be able to wake up in the morning and say good morning to my tooth. So kind of creepy, <laughs> sounds very weird, but um, I'm not sure that there's any kid that has chosen to keep their tooth over getting a visit from the tooth fairy, but. Anyways, hilarious, Brody's so funny. So anyway, I'm wrapping up the vlog now and then I'm working on editing another vlog for you guys. So it's nice to kind of get back on track here um, consistently with y'all. So thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one, bye. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know